I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Might have caught the June blues, yeah. I wanna drown myself inside the June. Okay guys, so I decided to revamp my old wigs, um, make them all glueless. That is the ultimate goal is to make all these wigs glueless. 
and also just revamp them and make them look different. I did have a blonde wig that I wore when I was about seven months pregnant and I just darkened the roots with makeup and I wore it as a blonde wig. But as you guys can see, I toned the blonde hair. I toned the orange brassiness out of the hair and then I just kind of water dipped it into like a, a mix type of green. How I'm going to vamp it more is I'm going to make it glueless. So I'm just going to use a band that a company sent me. If you guys don't have a band that's already pre-cut, you can cut the band. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So literally this is like a, st a stretchy elastic band. It's probably like a half an inch thick. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure a little above your eyebrow right here and a little above your eyebrow right here. Okay? That is going to make it glueless. Now, there was a lot of resistance when it comes to um, this band. So that's how you know that the wig is going to fit really, really, really snug. So if I pull it all the way, it comes to where I said, a little above the brow. Okay? Like so. And this is where it's going to lay. It's not going to lay on my edge. It's going to lay right here, a little behind my ear. And it's going to lay right there, okay? I do have three cones on the sides, and that just messes everything up. So I'm going to cut these combs out. I'm going to sew the bin right above this comb and right above this comb, okay? Cut the combs off first. And then this is where you're going to sew the band on. Right in this spot. Go in the same direction. All right, so now this is how you make it glueless, okay? So I just use a little bit of spritz on the little comb and I'm just gonna comb my baby hairs out the way. Okay, like so, all right? Nothing's glued down. I'm gonna put that bronzer on um, the underside where the lace is so that way the roots can be more my color. Just gonna put that, okay? Like so. I'm just gonna pop it on. Pop the elastic band on first. That's how it looks. It looks real, real, real crazy, okay? I'm gonna part the hair wherever I want it. Probably down the middle. Once I do that, I'm just going to apply the wax stick, and this is the Lustre Silk wax stick. So, the edges the same way. I'm going to kind of set everything back to where I want it to go. So now I'm just going to pull out a little bit of baby hair where I want the baby hair to be. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Make sure everything is where you want it to be. Okay. I'm gonna cut these baby hairs really short. 
Now you are going to get some mousse. And I'm going to set everything. I just waste away, don't know what life about. Another day go by, don't know what got me down. Drum blows, yeah. I got the drum blows, yeah. Walk around like who you, yeah. Just something you get used to, yeah. Go blame the drum blows, yeah. It's just the drum blows, yeah. Walk around like who you, yeah. Just some you can use Any laces like lifting up or whatever, lay down with the with the mousse, okay? Put it on. Put it on where the ear tabs will be touched as well. I am going to style this wig, okay? I'm going to style it. it looks crazy. I'm going to dry the, where I put the mousse and I'm actually going to wand curl this hair. Now I'm going to use a curling on to wand curl. You don't have to. You can use a wand curler. So this is how half the head looks. And then I'm just going to do the other side. I have wound curled this hair, so now I'm going to take the band off. Alrighty, so this is how everything looks, okay? So I don't like blonde roots, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm not a fan of blonde roots. So what I like to do is I like to color my roots, a color that is the color of me for the most part. As you can see, the foam laid down the root. Okay. This is color here, so it's like a little bit more maintenance. And I'm just going to kind of comb it out of its stuck spot like that. I'm just kind of hold it down. see something down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you hold it down can you tell me why i'm down yeah. that way no fuzz of mine no fuzz of mine around i think the wine curls are pretty maybe everything should have been this color this green color the result that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe and just let me know what else you guys want to see. Alright, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.